Welcome back everyone. If you've been keeping up to date on your Bamboo Studio Slicer, uh, there were a few uh, additions that were backported from Prusa Slicer. So we're gonna go over a few of them and this will actually open up some new possibilities in future projects. Okay, so the first thing we'll look at are the snap connectors. So let's create a primitive and we'll start with this cube. And we're gonna to go to the cut tool, so you can either hit the C key or go up to the top and hit cut. Now the two new things that were added um, up here were has planar and dovetail, but we're gonna stay within the, the planar cut and go to add connectors. So in previous videos, I've actually gone over the plug and the dowel and the snap is the new one. So when you hit the cut tool, you can basically just find a place where you wanna place the snap connector. I'll just drop it into the corner. And these are your options. So the depth ratio is how far it will extend out from here and how deep it will penetrate the opposite side. Put that back to three. The size, pretty self-explanatory, explains the size. And then you have the bulge. And if you look a little closer here, it will widen um, in the middle before going back in and then the gap in between. And these guys on the side would be your tolerance. So if you believe that your filament's bulging too much, um, you can actually set your tolerance. I've been playing around with this and even something as simple as like a 0.2 millimeter over on the size part, means that you can you sort of reuse some of these uh, press fits. So when you pop them in, you can then take them out without it actually breaking. Now you have to play with your filament. So if you have brittle filament, it might break on the first time you uh, place it in. So keep that in mind. So if, if you have an item that you want to lock in and keep it locked in, may not play a big factor, but if you're going to constantly remove and add them back, you might want to play with your tolerance. All right, so let's create a few of these and show you how they work. So much like all the other ones, whether it be dowels or the plugs, you can move these around. And then when you're happy with it, you can just confirm your connector and then perform the cut. So much like the plugs, uh, this will stick out of your model and then the opposite side will have the holes. So I'm going to flip this side over and those are our three holes. So I'll print one copy of that. All right, so this is our snap connector. And depending on how you set your tolerances, you can basically reuse these. If you're just doing a one and done, you can effectively set your tolerance a little closer, in which case press fit and you don't have to make any changes afterwards. All right, so next cutting method will be the dovetail. So again, let's create a primitive, take that cube, go into the cut tool and under mode, we will switch over to dovetail. Now the dovetails are unique because while you're looking at an entire cut plane, this will cut entirely across, you can make some adjustments. So let's just perform a quick cut. So pretty straightforward, cuts across and let's flip this one around so you can see the other side. And then you can just slide these together and then you'd have your joint part. Now let's go back a few steps, go back into the cut and let's look at some of the options. So of course you can move this up or down or side to side. You can choose, make sure we're high on that list. We can go into the depth how deep this will penetrate to the top and bottom, the width, the flap angle, 
and the groove angle. Now as you're making these, much like with the other ones, I would play with tolerance. And in order to know what your filament is capable of, what I would recommend is essentially to use this tolerance to your benefit. So for the filament that I've been using, I've noticed that the 0.2 on the width actually helped out a lot in terms of putting things together. Now, I will actually show you another thing that you can do. All right, so the other thing that you can do, I'll give you a better look at when we change the groove angle. If we change this, you actually will create it to a point. So what can happen is you can actually slot it in and have it sort of just press fit into one uh, section instead of it being able to slide through. Okay, so I'll print a few of these and I'll show you how they look. All right, and these are our dovetails. So the nice part about this, you can just slide to lock them on. So another feature that was brought over from Prusa Slicer is selective cuts. So as you know, the cut tool is more like a cut plane. So what that means is it will actually either bisect your entire model or when you pick a particular angle, it will cut it at that angle. Now, when you actually are using your cut tool, you might actually have issues with it cutting your model in more than one place. So the option now is to actually select areas that you don't want to include in a cut. So for instance, if I were to take this model here and just perform a generic cut, what will end up happening, let's slide these over, we'll have pieces that are, make this a little easier to see. Um, you have these little pieces here, little pieces here, and while this part is fine, this part is a mess. So what you can do is effectively, let's go back to our cut tool. We can basically tell certain parts of this not to get cut. So if we go to our cut tool again, and we could slide this up or slide it down, doesn't really matter. Now you'll see two different colors. So we have this purple color, we have this blue color, and we can actually just right click on areas we don't want to have included in the cut. So I can just start unselecting these and this little piece right up here. So now when I perform this cut, and if you get the non-manifold edges, you can just hit cancel. Otherwise it'll try to fix the model. This I know will work fine. And from here, we still have the stalks and we have this part separated. So if I were to go back and just combine some of the things that we did before, I can actually take this model, go back to our cut. Again, let's slide this up. And I can just unselect parts that I don't want to have included in the initial cut. I can go to add connectors and of course you can use either a dovetail or plug, dowel, or snap. And then just add them like we did before. You'll notice that I'm doing triangle with a lot of my uh, snap tools. Uh, I try to avoid using a sort of like a square 
for a lot of my items, I just like to have a simple alignment. And you can make these adjustments. Um, typically for something like this, make sure it's uh, it's what you, exactly what you want. Otherwise, uh, you can't make these ch uh, changes later. So much like with the plugs, uh, you wanna make sure that you are um, pretty much sure of your tolerances and because there's no going back to fix this unlike the dowels. All right, so now that we're in good shape, we will confirm connector, perform the cut. I'm gonna say cancel for the non-manifold edges. And effectively, we can now print these and then add them together afterwards. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and as always, thank you.